Oh, digging out this last hole on the um, <laughs> enclosure I'm making here. It's uh, every two feet, four by four, solid as all hell. Um, probably can stand up a hurricane. And I realize it's going through the area where the uh, septic pipe goes through because this one had all the rocks buried in it and this one had it too. And this one here, so I'm going to use this uh, six and a half horsepower vacuum cleaner vacuum out all the rocks so I don't dig into the pipe and go right by it. Let's see if this works. Yeah, actually this is working with the uh, vacuum cleaner, but this is a strong vacuum cleaner. You can see it's a uh, six and a half horsepower. And if you have to dig a hole next to something and you can't really shovel, and it's very difficult to shovel through gravel, because I had to do two of these. And the reason I got all this gravel is because there's a pipe being laid through here and it's going right next to the pipe and I don't want to dig with a post hole digger, maybe crack the pipe, so I'm using a vacuum cleaner, but it works faster than the shovel, so pretty decent idea. And I just thought of this last night because man, this was a bitch to dig this last hole. Well, that did work because this was the worst one to dig. And like I said, there's a pipe, you can see it down there, there's a pipe next to the uh, uh, you know, where the pole is going through the post, the 4x4, four four, and that's for the septic tank, and this was all surrounded with gravel and sand, so even if you try to dig it out with a post hole digger, it's like, forget about it. So I took all this material out with this vacuum cleaner, it worked pretty good, but this is not, like I got another one that's a 3.5 horse, this is a 6.5 horse, so it's pretty powerful, so if you're using like a 2 or 3 horse vacuum, it won't work, but this, you notice this is sandy. And all these big rocks, they just pulled right up from underneath there. It was a hell of a lot easier than trying to dig it out with a shovel. Uh, or else you'd be scooping it out by hand, run rock at a time. And this thing, forget about it. I mean, that post hole digger, they suck. They don't work that great. So, it's a good method. Never tried it before, but it worked. Alright, so that completes the last hole on that. And that was the way I dug it, was by using a vacuum cleaner. Worked pretty damn good. I couldn't get it out the gravel and stuff with a shovel or a post hole digger. So there now there's one every two feet uh, cemented in, at least about 150 to 200 pounds concrete each one, all pressure treated wood. Uh, 15 year best quality stain, double header on the top, two two by fours nailed in their biggest nails you can get practically. All these are all two feet apart, two feet apart. Then uh, same deal, double header on the top. You know on this side. There's dirt piled up against it. Actually, what's going to happen is there's going to be dirt scooped out of here. And I'm using a very heavy patio block. It's extra thick. And um, there's going to be a center beam with a low pitch roof on this. But not with um, roofing, per se. It's going to use like a vinyl material. It's actually a tarp. It's like a dark brown. It's very heavy, very uh, UV resistant. So it's considered a temporary structure. Temporary. It's a fence with a temporary structure so you see the beauty upon that so but very very strong this should probably handle a hurricane no problem and this would be built up with more dirt put some concrete across it a layer of concrete wind hits it <laughs> it ain't going nowhere